Welcome to the third lecture of Community Psychology. Today we will learn about seven core values of community psychology. There are seven core values in community psychology which are, individual and family wellness, sense of community, respect for human diversity, social justice, empowerment and citizen participation, collaboration and community strengths, empirical grounding, values are deeply held ideals about what is moral, right, or good. They have emotional intensity, they are honored, not lightly held. Values may concern ends, goals, or means, how to attain goals, or both. They are social, we develop values through experiences with others. Individuals hold values but so do families, communities, and cultures. Values may be rooted in spiritual beliefs or practices but can also be secular. Many values conflicts involve choices about which of two worthy values is more important in a given situation. Discussions of values are useful for several purposes. First, values help clarify choices for research and action. Sometimes, the community psychologist may conclude that his or her values do not match those of a setting and choose not to work in that setting. Second, the discussion of values helps to identify when actions and espoused values do not match. Or consider an alternative high school that seeks to empower students, their families, and teachers. But when decisions are to be made, the teachers have sources of day-to-day -day information and influence that students and parents lack, teachers thus dominate the discussion. Despite the espoused values of all involved, the organizational practices do not empower students and families. The problem is not individual hypocrisy but an organizational discrepancy between ideals and actual outcomes. Third, understanding a culture or community involves understanding its distinctive values. Fourth, community psychology has a distinctive spirit a shared sense of purpose and meaning. That spirit is the basis of our commitment and what keeps us going when obstacles arise. It is thoughtful but also passionate and pragmatic, embodied in research and action. We begin with the value most closely linked to the individual level of analysis, proceeding to those more closely linked to community and macro system levels. Each individual and working group within the field must decide what values will be central to their work. Individual and family wellness. Wellness refers to physical and psychological health, including personal well being and attainment of personal goals. Indicators of wellness include symptoms of psychological distress and such measures of positive qualities as resilience, social-emotional skills personal well-being, and life satisfaction. These and similar indicators are often outcome criteria for community psychology interventions. Individual-slash-family wellness is also the focus of clinical psychology and related fields. Community psychology goes beyond, yet complements clinical methods by placing individual wellness in the context of ecological levels of analysis. To promote individual and family wellness, community psychologists have studied and developed community interventions focused on the prevention of maladaptive behavior, personal and family problems, and illness, promotion of social-emotional competence and of health, social support networks and mutual help groups. Intervention programs in such non-clinical settings as schools and workplaces community psychologists enhance individual and family wellness at community level. For this, Perleltinsky proposed the concept of collective wellness to refer to the health of communities and societies. Cohen's descriptions of wellness include concepts of empowerment and social justice. Certainly, individual and community well-being are interwoven, and collective wellness is an attractive general principle. It is involved with the next five values that we discuss. Sense of community refers to a perception of belongingness, interdependence, and mutual commitment that links individuals in a collective unity. Building a sense of community goes beyond individualism to a focus on interdependence and relationships. From a community psychology perspective, quality of life for individual and community ultimately depend on each other. Yet sense of community is not always positive. It can involve distancing insiders from outsiders. It can be bolstered by ignoring or attacking diversity within a community, creating injustice or a deadening conformity. It is not a cure-all. In especially risky neighborhoods, withdrawal from the community may be adaptive for adults or children, Brodsky, 1996. Thus, 
This value must be balanced with other values, especially social justice and respect for diversity. Respect for human diversity recognizes and honors the variety of communities and social identities based on gender, ethnic, or racial identity, nationality, sexual orientation, ability or disability, socioeconomic status and income, age, or other characteristics. Understanding individuals in communities requires understanding human diversity. Community psychologists must understand the traditions and folkways of any culture or distinctive community with whom they work. That includes appreciating how the culture provides distinctive strengths and resources for living. Researchers also need to adapt research methods and questions to be appropriate to a culture. Respect for diversity does not mean moral relativism, one can hold strong values while also seeking to understand different values. Respect for diversity also must be balanced with the values of social justice and sense of community, understanding diverse groups and persons while promoting fairness, seeking common ground, and avoiding social fragmentation. Social justice can be defined as the fair, equitable allocation of resources, opportunities, obligations, and power in society as a whole. Distributive justice concerns the allocation of resources, for example, money, access to good quality health services or education, among members of a population. Who determines how such resources are distributed? That is the question of procedural justice, which concerns whether processes of collective decision-making include a fair representation of citizens. Thus, distributive justice concerns the outcomes of a program or a social policy, while procedural justice concerns how it is planned and implemented. A social justice perspective is often most concerned with advocacy, for social policies, for example, laws, court decisions, government practices, regulations, and for changes in public attitudes, especially through mass media. But it can also guide clinical work with members of oppressed populations and research on psychological effects of social injustice or changes in social policy. Social justice involves concern for wellness of all persons and an inclusive vision of community and recognition of human diversity. Procedural justice is especially related to values we present next, citizen participation in making decisions and genuine collaboration between psychologists and community members. In practice, the pursuit of social justice must be balanced with other values and with inequalities in power that are difficult to change, empowerment and citizen participation. Fundamental to a community psychology perspective is the consideration of power dynamics in individual relationships, organizations, and communities. Empowerment is aimed toward enhancing the possibilities for people to control their own lives. Empowerment is a process that works. Across multiple levels and contexts, it involves gaining access to resources and exercising power in collective decision-making. Citizen participation is a strategy for exercising this power. It emphasizes democratic processes of making decisions that allow all members of a community to have meaningful involvement in the decision, especially those who are directly affected. Grassroots citizen groups, neighborhood organizations, and community-wide prevention coalitions promote citizen participation. Citizen participation also refers to the ability of a community to participate in decisions by larger bodies, for example, macrosystems, that affect its future. Empowerment and citizen participation are related to the concept procedural justice. Citizen participation does not automatically lead to better decisions. Sometimes, citizens do not consider the rights and needs of all individuals or groups, and empowerment has been used to justify the strengthening of one group at the expense of another. Thus, this value must be balanced with values of sense of community, social justice, and respect for diversity. This can lead to conflict among competing views and interests. However, simply avoiding conflict by limiting opportunities for meaningful citizen participation is often worse for those values than promoting free debate. Collaboration and Community Strengths Perhaps the most distinctive value of community psychology, long emphasized in the field, involves relationships between community psychologists and citizens and the process of their work. Community psychologists search for personal and community strengths that promote change. Community psychologists do have expertise to share with communities. However, they also need to honor the life experiences, wisdom, 
passionate zeal, social networks, organizations, cultural traditions, and other resources, in short, the community strengths, that already exist in a community. Building on these strengths is often the best pathway to overcoming problems. Furthermore, community psychologists seek to create a collaborative relationship with citizens so community strengths are available for use. In that relationship, both psychologists and citizens contribute knowledge and resources, and both participate in making decisions. For example, community researchers may design a study to meet the needs of citizens, share research findings with citizens in a form that they can use, and help use the findings to advocate for changes by decision makers. Developers of a community program would fully involve citizens in planning and implementing it. Collaboration is best pursued where psychologists and community share common values. Thus, it is crucial for community psychologists to know their own values priorities and to make careful choices about with whom to ally in the community. It also means that differences in views that emerge must be discussed and resolved fairly. Empirical Grounding This value refers to the integrating research with community action, basing, grounding, action in empirical research findings whenever possible. This uses research to make community action more effective and makes research more valid for understanding communities. Community psychologists are impatient with theory or action that lacks empirical evidence and with research that ignores the context and interests of the community in which it occurred. Community psychologists use quantitative and qualitative research methods. Community psychologists generate knowledge from a diversity of sources, with innovative methods. Community psychologists believe no research is value-free, it is always influenced by researchers' values and preconceptions and by the context in which the research is conducted. Drawing conclusions from research thus requires attention to values and context, not simply to the data. This does not mean that researchers abandon rigorous research but that values and community issues that affect the research are discussed openly to promote better understanding of findings. Let's have a quick summary of today's lecture. Now concluding today's topic of seven core values of community psychology. No discipline commands unanimity among its members, and community psychologists in particular can be a skeptical, questioning lot. These seven core values therefore must be understood by community psychologists in terms of how they complement, balance, and limit each other in practice. For example, individual wellness must be balanced with concern for the wider community. Collaborating with local community members is a time-consuming approach that can slow the completion of research. Promoting a local sense of community or cultural identity does not necessarily promote a wider concern for social justice. Community life and wise community psychology require accommodations among these values rather than single-minded pursuit of one or two. That's all for today. Thank you. Stay tuned for the upcoming lectures. Goodbye.